this lesson on probability, we'll give you the definition of probability, then define the terms you need to know to calculate probability, and finally, take you through a series of examples where you calculate the probability of certain events. We'll begin by giving an example of a problem. What is the probability of rolling a one on a die and drawing a six from a deck of cards? Before we can answer this question, we need to know what probability is. And probability is the likelihood of an event happening. We can calculate probability by taking the number of ways an event can happen and divide it by the total number of possible outcomes. We'll give you a simpler example to demonstrate how to calculate probability. What is the probability of rolling a multiple of three on a die? The first thing we need to do is determine all the possible outcomes. A list of all the outcomes is known as a sample space. So for rolling a die, we know we could have one, two, three, four, five, or six. We have six possible outcomes. Next, we list all the outcomes that would be classified as being successful. In this case, all the multiples of three. So from our sample space, that would include three and six. Now we can calculate our probability. The probability of rolling a multiple of 3 on a die would be 2 out of a total possible outcomes of 6. We can reduce this just like we can with any fraction, giving us a probability of 1 third. Now we'll try a slightly more difficult problem involving the probability of flipping 3 coins and getting exactly 2 heads. To help us determine the total number of outcomes that would be involved in flipping three coins, we'll use a tree diagram. To draw a tree diagram, we'll do each coin separately. So our first coin, we know the possible outcomes would be heads or tails. We'll attach a second coin to the first coin, giving us four different possibilities. Next, we'll attach a third coin to all of these possible outcomes, that would give us a sample space that would look something like this. HHH would refer to the first coin being heads, the second coin being heads, and the third coin being heads. HHT would be the first coin being heads, the second coin being heads, and the third coin being tails. The rest of the sample space is done in a similar fashion giving us a total of eight possible outcomes. Now we're ready to calculate the probability of flipping three coins and getting exactly two heads. We know that there are eight possible outcomes, and of those eight, three of them have exactly two heads. So the probability of flipping three coins and getting exactly two heads is three out of eight. Now let's try an example with different types of outcomes. What is the probability of flipping a coin, getting a tail, and then rolling a die and getting a five? Let's use our tree diagram once again to help us determine all the possible outcomes. We have our coin that would give us heads or tails, and then attached to each one of these outcomes, we'll have all the possibilities that go along with rolling a die, which would be the numbers 1 to 6, giving us a sample space of 12 possible outcomes. Let's find the probability of flipping a coin and getting tails, and rolling a die and getting 5. That would be 1 out of 12 possible outcomes. Rolling a die and flipping a coin are called independent events. The reason why is that the outcome of one of the events does not affect the outcome of the other event. So it doesn't matter what we get in the coin, it doesn't determine what number shows up on the die. What we can do with independent events is take the probability of each event separately. 
So the probability of flipping a coin and getting a tails is one out of two. The probability of taking a die and rolling a five would be one out of six. The probability of flipping a coin, getting a tails, and rolling a die and getting a five, we know is one out of 12. So what we can do to calculate the probability of two independent events happening at the same time is simply multiply each probability separately. One half times one six would also give us an answer of one twelve. Let's try this on our original probability question. What is the probability of rolling a one on a die and drawing a six from a deck of cards? So what we can do is simply multiply the probability of rolling a one on a die times the probability of drawing a six from a deck of cards. The probability of getting a one on a die is one out of six. And the probability of getting a six from a deck of cards is there are four sixes out of a total of 52 cards. We could reduce this to one thirteenth. One six times one thirteenth will give us a probability of one out of 78. So remember to find the probability of independent events happening at the same time you simply multiply the individual probabilities.